Okay, this is pistols and I did not know that was cocked and I broke the dart. Sorry about that. This is a bad dart, but I'm just firing a bad darts right now, this gun, right here. That goes in here. Um, so this I have guns that I'm making pistol contracts. One of these will be probably twenty dollars. If you want a storm fire with a pullback rod, like a easier spring edition, like a Maverick spring or something, and then air seal improved or and coupler or just CPC barrel added on, twenty bucks probably, twenty five maybe, yeah, twenty five bucks, like twenty to twenty five bucks depending on what you want. Get to maybe fifty five feet maybe this gun. Here with the bad dart, I'll shoot it out my window. Because this dart is old and messed up. Shoot it out my window, see how far it gets. Not perfect, probably like 40 feet flat. But that dart was so bad, I don't even think that's accurate enough to stay with. Okay, I'm using another bad dart, but it's better than the one I fi fired first, so. Yeah, way better, like 15 feet further than the other bad dart. That's uh, still a bad dart, so. Like, 50 feet with this, and with a good dart, probably 55 feet. Um, let me, I don't know. This one is messed up, so. So, storm fires, depending on what color you want, because I love the lime green ones. Like, this one will be probably cheaper because it's orange. And then, if you wanted an orange one, no spring additions, just pullback rod, coupler, or that, 20 bucks. Um then if you wanted a green one with a maverick spring added on um this and like a coupler or cbc barrel and i will do um pgg barrels that'll be like 25 26 dollars and then here i have switch shots i like switch shots a lot but not as good as my fighters my switch shots are pretty good this one's not as good as it used to be because I had a spring it. I had an added spring, a spring edition in this, which I took out and put it into this. So this was my friend's secondary for if he ever came to war with me. Now this is going to be secondary. Um, so this gun gets maybe. 40 feet flat with a stock spring and just see if you see the barrel. It gets 40 feet flat. Great range with a step. Probably 60 with the spring edition and everything else. Yeah, that hit hard, so like, I'll shoot this one out the window too. Um. One bad dart, not good, but whatever, still better than nothing. It actually got farther than this, and this had a better dart. This had a better dart in it. I can see the darts perfectly out there because. There's, a, there's snow on the ground, and they're black darts, so they pop out. Um, so, nice air seal. Um, this one, not so much, I don't think. It doesn't go in like that, but switch shots you can dry fire modded, and so can you with these. Um, my night finder is downstairs right now, but... Here's my cousin's Redfinder. 
I didn't do any internal mods to it except I took the airstrikes out for him. And instead of doing an actual PTG barrel, I just took my cousin. He had his dad do this for him because he's kind of into nerfs now. He has his dad minimize it for him. So I just took a piece of PTG because I didn't feel like opening it. Well, I could can't open it because my cousin strips a screw in it, so it doesn't work. But it has a great air seal. As you can see. Um, PTG barrel fires fine. I don't, I don't think it fires too much. That's good though. Yeah, it doesn't fire too much. That's good. But it's fine. It's no springs added. It's pretty much just a stock gun with the PG barrel glued on. But I put on a like, couple of stock and I put on a stock in the foregrip form. Pull it here or you fire. Like you can put dry fire and crap. But then we'll respect with these darts, the white darts. Fires maybe thirty feet with a uh, with just stock. Now I'll go get you my coupler. I'll go get my coupler gun. I have my two other guns now. So, my two night finders, great, they work great. I just love them. Not in the actual loving way. Nice air seal on this one. Not perfect, but this one, not so good in air seal. You guys can see. It stinks. Yeah, so, this one, RC bead, holds five of my one and a half inch darts. Including if you put one into the barrel already, but RCB probably hits 60 feet flat at the max, and then probably drops down to maybe I'd say drops down to the last dart, maybe five feet, so 55. Well, like 65 with the first shot, and then 50, 60 with the second shot. I'm just loading three darts in right now. I'm gonna shoot it out my window again. It's not the best darts, by the way, because these are my great arts. From when I don't use great arts anymore, so this is my. Well, I'm just gonna open this part of the window because I'm not noticing. So, start this gun. Yeah, that's a bad dart. And it was in the barrel all the way. That was a lot nicer. Way nice. These are all perfectly flat. That's okay. But that was the last dart. There's dead space in here. So like 60 feet with a RCB night finder if you want an RCB night finder. But RCB night finders would be maybe thirty dollars because they require more stuff and all that. Now I have this one. This one I like. I can dry fire it, this is fine because I put so much e-tape around the barrel, and now I'm just going to shoot this one outside, a nice start. It vacuum loads that much. This is maybe a 5 inch barrel with a couple of night finder, regular, uh, something like this, $25. If you want something like I sold to um yeah that's nice if you want something that's like what I sold to this probably gets 65 70 feet if you want something that I sold like I sold to um sell to story 47 if you want something like that I charged him $17 but I'll make yours better than that because it's just easy to be out but this will be about 25 If you just want to see the barrel, $20. And 
every night finder you buy every night finder or like pistol you buy six dollars for shipping on anything and darts every like 100 darts will be four dollars for shipping so if you buy 200 darts it'll be like six dollars for shipping so it's like two dollars every 100 darts but if you buy like 300 darts from me i'm not gonna charge you like um what's it called twelve dollars for shipping it's probably gonna be like eight or nine so that's it so rate comment subscribe bye